Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 1st to the 7th of March 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. Now these cards are a bit chunky so I'm going to choose this week if they don't freely come out. Okay, what do we have for Aquarius, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Aquarians. Thank you for the week. Okay, so we have the three of coins. Nice energy, Aquarius. We have do what you love, recognition for the highest quality of work, especially creative endeavours, being paid well for your craft, working well with others, an excellent reputation. Isn't that lovely? Very nice energy indeed. The Three of Coins or Pentacles is a great card of success. The beginnings of success. Manifesting success. Okay, what do we have for Aquarius, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for a lovely Aquarius. Thank you for the week. Thank you, yeah. It's almost kind of like it's within your capability to do this, so it's up to you. That's what you're being told, okay. And what do we have for Aquarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Aquarians. Thank you. So I have the card of community. I mean, there, there could be some collaborative projects. I mean, this can talk about collaboration, teamwork. Can also be something that you're working on in the community here as well, your community. We have a number of communities. It can be your local community, family. Yeah, your tribe, it can be friends, it can be in terms of workplace, but there's definitely some kind of community where there's the beginnings of manifesting success, doing something that you are good at, there could be some partnership or collaboration here. It is generally very good in terms of money and career as well, okay. Okay, so what do we have for Aquarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Aquarians. First to the 7th of March, 2021. And I'm going to pull three cards and then we'll clarify to go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you as always. Okay, message for Aquarius, thank you. Message for Aquarius, no, we didn't want to come out. Let's keep going. Thank you. Nine of Wands is your challenge position. Justice. Oh, wow. <laughs> I have the Nine of Cups here. Very nice energy, Aquarius. Okay. Okay, let's clarify the cards and go deep into the message for our lovely Aquarians. Thank you. First to the 7th of March 2021. Thank you, Angels, Spirits, Guides. What do we have for Aquarius? We've got the world. I like it with the Nine of Wands. Justice. We have the Four of Coins. And the Four of Swords is clarified with the, is clarifying the Nine of Cups. Eight of Swords is bottom of the deck. These swords energies are very much to do with the mind. You are air energy. That is the swords energy. Um, it's part of your element. So there's definitely an energy of something has been preying on your mind here, Aquarius. And there's definitely an energy of you have everything that you need, the practical skills, the resources, the ability, either on your own or with somebody else. 
um, to bring the beginnings of success into your life. It could not just affect you, but other people as well in your life, your community. It feels like it's been a long road and definitely this feeling of long testing road. And yet there's going to be some kind of victory completion here. There's sometimes an energy with these cards that the completion doesn't seem to be in sight. The end doesn't seem to be in sight. Getting to the goal, getting where you want to be doesn't seem to be in sight. And yet you are one wand away. So the message with the Nine of Wands is persevere because there's definitely this energy of victory will be yours, success will be yours. Again, the world card can be about goal achievement, material success, worldly success. Um, it's a card of winning through. So I definitely get this energy, Aquarius, of it's closer than you think. Don't give up now. Keep going. It's up to you. You have the ability to manifest some kind of success here. For some of you, you might be, I mean, this is also a card of reap what you sow, true. So there's definitely this energy of keep going. You know, you'll reap what you sow. And again, the Four of Coins is a card of financial stability, security, safety, self-protection, self-preservation. The Four in Tarot is a card of foundation, uh, stability, security. It's a stabilizing energy. So if this has been a difficult testing journey, feeling unstable in a situation, there's definitely some something that is coming in that is bringing stability. I feel it's a contract for some of you. I'm definitely getting some kind of legal contract, legal offer here. Um, that could be in terms of jobs, that could be in terms of business contracts, that could be obviously doing some kind of project and getting the contract, winning the contract, winning. Um, I'm definitely getting this energy of winning some kind of contract here. Yeah. There's definitely this energy here, Aquarius, that the situation isn't futile. So don't let your mind wander here. The, the Eight of Swords can be when we're so much in our own head, we don't see the wood for the trees here. And there's opportunity all around you with the Eight of Swords. This is Jupiterian energy. Uh, so there is the, the opportunity, the expansion, the growth, the good things, the gifts. All of this kind of thing wants to come into your life here. But the negative thinking can block it. Focusing on the negative can block it. So try and definitely get some kind of perspective here. Um, if you've gone through some kind of period of recovery or you're trying to get your head around a situation, this is about getting, again, it's a four, stabilizing the mind. I'm definitely getting the stability of the mind, getting perspective. Because for some of you, what you're working on, what you're pushing towards, is bringing the beginnings of success your way. I'm feeling definitely this kind of winning a contract, and it is to do with getting your heart's desire, a wish fulfillment, a goal. Um, we have goal energy here, goal achievements, being within your grasp, almost kind of like there could be one obstacle to go. Sometimes there is just one obstacle to go, and then you're there. You get your wish, you get your dream, you get your heart's desire, what you've set your heart on, what you're really wanting to achieve. And again, it's manifesting in the beginnings of success here, however it resonates for you. So I really love the energy here. There's something about just keep a grip of your mind here, your mental perspective. And I kind of feel the practical energy, the drive, the perseverance, the determination will bring through some kind of stability and security in your life. It feels very beautiful, but I'm definitely getting this energy of winning a contract. So don't worry too much because the good things want to come in. The good things want to come into your life. It can be our mind that just doesn't see them when it's in that space of focusing just on the negative. So just watch out for that Aquarius. 
But this is a somebody who is putting a plan into action, re-strategizing, so there could be some re-evaluation here. But definitely, when you do, there is absolutely some kind of goal, wish, hope, dream, uh, heart's desire, energy, reasons to be thankful here. So I definitely get this energy here, Aquarius, of the goal is within your grasp. The dream is within your grasp. There may well be some kind of re-strategizing, but nevertheless, something is bringing in stability and security back into your life. And I feel it's to do some kind of contract. So I'm going to pull a final card. Final message for Aquarius, thank you. Final message for Aquarius, thank you. Yeah, we have hidden depths. Something hidden is about to come to light, perhaps a secret or memory at the back of your mind. When we expose what's hidden, we can become free. Yeah. I mean, this is about digging deep and it's to do with your subconscious energy, also to do with your mental energy, you know, um, really thinking about something, deep reflection in how to bring this about because it's definitely when it's on the table it is an outcome energy it is within your grasp this will allow you to achieve this so i hope you enjoyed the reading aquarius if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful week for you all and i will see you next time thank you